Namaskar. Welcome to Conversations with Rakesh. Today's question. Rakesh, I really want to read books and do a lot of writing, but somehow haven't been able to cultivate a habit for it. I pick up a book, get bored, then put it down. I've bought a lot of books, but I've never read them. I've picked up a lot of diaries, but I've never filled them with my words, but I want to. How do I develop a habit of writing and reading and stick to it? Uh, first of all, I must tell you, um, it is quite normal for us to have this kind of a challenge that we want to do something, but somehow we haven't built a habit for it. We haven't cultivate, cultivated a habit for it. And it goes back to this classic good habits versus bad habits discussion. It also goes into behavior, the way we learn, the cognitive skills, cognition, very complex um, neuroscientific work, which I'm not an expert of. So what I'll do is in this video, I'll narrow down the scope because habits and behaviors and learning are everywhere. Good habits, bad habits are everywhere. I won't keep it very broad because it get, gets complicated. I'll stick to two, three areas which I understand, which is communication related areas that good reading increases the fuel for your brain. The more there is inside your brain, the more it helps you in communication. So that's why I always request everyone to read a lot. Uh, movies, the more you, you absorb movies, the more it's there in the brain. But the problem is that not everybody can do it. Writing, the more we write, the better communicators we become. So how does one create these habits? Now let's look at some of the fundamental challenges that many of us professionals face when it comes to uh, reading and writing and habits connected to learning. And the biggest problem we all face is serious lack of time and also physical and mental fatigue. You must understand this, that our brain is like a very, very nice soil. But if the soil is not pampered, nothing will grow in it. And we give the best parts of our days to our work which sometimes is very mechanical, boring, frustrating, nowadays even toxic, we don't know. So what happens is your brain has no energy left. And if it has energy left, it is not in the right uh, mood or in the right happiness zone because it doesn't absorb those things. I know for a fact that if you have gone through a very hard day, uh, you won't be able to pick up a book. It's hard, it's even for me. Though some people may pick up a book to distract themselves, which we'll discuss slightly later because that also is a part of habit building. But please remember that it is absolutely okay for you to pick up a book and quickly put it down because your brain is not ready, your mind is not ready. Deep inside you're like, yeah, let's leave, this will not happen And we just put it down and move on. But I think that's where we need to focus more and go to the root causes that this could happen because of one, serious physical and mental fatigue. Number two, this is something which I have talked about in many um, symposiums, conferences, talks, that please pick up topics that you enjoy. A very big part of especially communication and reading and writing is start with what you want to do. The problem is we are made to read and write things we probably may not enjoy or not, don't want to because it is connected to education marks and it gets very competitive and we don't like it. Sometimes rejection also creates a big problem that I worked so hard and I got a C minus, so I'll never do it again. So demotivation because of that can come in. So please pick up topics that you enjoy. Like for example, let's say you love sports, pick up books on sports, pick up writing on sports, connect it to what you enjoy rather than connecting it to your career all the time. So the mistake we make is we always connect reading and writing to learning in our country. It comes from our, our social context. We pick up a book to become more educated, intellectual, intelligent so that we can write exam and do better in lives. Education is the path to social mobility. But there is another way of looking at reading and writing which is leisure, relaxation. We don't invest time on that. 
and that comes from picking things what you enjoy pick up things that you enjoy because that becomes leisure and your habit of reading begins if you're going to pick up a big book which is very complex kahan se aapko interest aayega pick up small books that you enjoy even if it's a visual amar chitra katha or tintin asterix or any uh, you know even mangas as long as they don't have too much of content that can be questionable and it's your personal choice but please pick up things that you enjoy so if you like sports go towards a sports book if you like poetry go towards a poetry book or a life of a poet because that's that's where leisure will come in and the last is developing a habit and there are various good books if you look at internet ted talks you'll find so many wonderful ted talks on cultivating habits letting go of bad habit habits connecting it to behavior learning cognition then there are these dopamine effect and all these sciences available from experts aap wahan se dekh lijiye but i will tell you how i develop my habits there's a very simple science habits are unconscious ways of uh, actions we don't know like for example many times the moment we are nervous we start biting our nails ye kya hai ye habit hai mere ko pata hi nahi hai ki main kar raha hu right now kaise hua maybe when i was a child i saw someone or maybe kuch dekha hoga maine it became uh, that trigger like it could be a fear i would have seen somebody do it when they are afraid could be a movie and i would have started doing it so the moment i get afraid or anxious i'll start doing it and i won't even know it that means our brain and bodies react to the environments we are in so if we can train our minds and bodies to behave in a certain way or act in a certain way i think we'll crack it so what do i do i just sometimes pick up a book that i enjoy and i tell myself ki i'm going to just pick it up and hold it in my hands and i do it for a considerable amount of time in fact there's a lovely book called atomic habits by james clear another good book is by charles doheg called the power of habit and many more good books they all say that if you do an action for a certain time and go through that process of trigger action reward after some time this becomes a habit some people say after 21 days some people say after 10 weeks the science is up in the air but there is a significant way to learn and i have seen that in schools and my daughter goes to a school one of the teacher the the way they uh, teach a child is brilliant concepts of science coming from these cognitive skills learning is a very big function you just teach a very small child when they climb up the stairs to hold the railing so the first 3 4 days the teacher took my daughter and made sure the moment she came in the first thing was open shoes so it was a routine open shoes hold the railing climb up char panch din ke baad my daughter started to automatically do it and now it's a habit the moment she goes in that environment and she sees a place to put shoes she'll put her shoes and she'll climb up it has become a part of her subconscious activity so if you do a certain activity multiple times the mind and the body get tuned to it and that becomes a habit so just pick up a book 10 minutes put it down on the maybe 21st day or 30th day you'll just pick up the book and do it after dinner do it as a routine do it as a very good way before you sleep in fact don't pick up the cell phone pick up a book after about 2 3 weeks it will become a habit and you might start reading one or two lines and that is the process to go forward the problem is that many of us want to pick up a book ki mujhe aaj hi finish karna hai aaj hi blog likhna hai linkedin pe ki maine ye char cheeze seekhi isse and there will be some 10 million likes and comments ye nahi hone wala you know recalibrate your objectives a little bit reading is for yourself it is a fuel for your mind it is food for the mind pick up things you enjoy build a habit and grow on it the same thing goes for writing the same thing goes for communication my simple request to all of you is 10 minute ek din mein dijiye aap for some activity that you feel is going to help you stay at it 10 minutes maybe just ek pen paper le lo aur 10 minute kuch likho even if it is like throwing lines at the paper that's fine it's just a paper and a pen and uh, see if you can make it into a habit that becomes a blog a journal which can be very helpful to you same thing as books make a habit of picking up a book reading about one sentence putting it back 
and on the 21st or 30th day this will become a habit subconsciously your hand will go after dinner pick up a book instead of a cell phone or it could be early morning so it's up to you so if you just tune your life on these simple techniques science says that if a child can learn by all these activities of training you can train yourself to pick up a book finish it and be a better version of yourself on that note stay safe